Welcome to Herman Hits the Road and in this video we're going to be changing the fuel filter. Okay, so obviously the engine bay. This is a 2.5 diesel Ducato uh, 1998, uh, just in case you're interested. The fuel filter is just there. Okay, there's a fuel filter just there behind the air box, which we're now removing. Uh, this pipe or this hose here was just there. We just fitted this, we had to take it off. Um, so this was all cracked around the, uh, the connect, the Jubilee clip. So having to replace that. And at the same time, we're gonna take this off. This is actually broken. Uh, the mount at the bottom here is uh, snapped. As you can see, it's um, wobbling a bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna need to take that out anyway to get to the fuel filter. So we've removed the uh, air box and we can have a good look at the oil, the fuel filter rather. And uh, just think of this while well, I'm gonna show you the new one. See that black cap there? You've got the lead coming out of it. That's the fuel sensor. Uh, so if I pull away and this is the replacement got a white cap on the end now we're just wondering in fact we found out we uh, took that off and it's basically just a cap to protect it I think it's a bleed cap yeah and it's a bit of a, a why would there be a hole on the top though because you open that up like that if you stick in there there will be a rubber seal okay like that yeah yeah and that goes in there and that is designed so you undo that and the fuel can come out, yeah, and drain out there and empty the filter. Yeah. So when you remove it, you haven't got a, f a, f a, f a filter full of fuel to get on it. Right, so we were going to put that on the thing while we're... Yeah. Is that the idea? So we're yeah. going to put that cap on that one. No, 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 we're not, because no, that one's got a sensor in it. We're going to swap that cap for this one. Yes. Yeah, okay? Right. So some filters will have, some vehicles have a sensor on them, which yeah. yours has, and some won't. Okay. So I'm hoping that, oh, okay. that will screw straight into here. Some and will and some won't. Right. Yeah. So this is in case you don't. Yeah. And we're going to put the. Uh, that one there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But so and of course these are meant to be hand tight. But my hands are quite strong, I should imagine. Uh, you know, and I I can't undo that. So we're going to use. Where's it gone? Oh, yeah. So that's like a an oil filter exactly. remover as well. Yeah, and it will also yeah anything yeah. cylindrical. Just, just to grip it, it, round it, and, and then just gently pull it. You don't want to butcher it. No. No. You know, so let's just see if it'll work. And are we gonna? Are we expecting lots of fuel to be messing everything up? And uh, not at the minute. No, I just want to crack it up first. Right. You can do what? Just try and crack it. So try and get that. Oh, on there. Sorry, I'm being immature. Right, the you got to watch out for these pipes. Yeah, you've got a lot of pipes in the way. You don't want to pinch those. No, no, it's not so much that. They're these are plastic, and over time they can become quite brittle. Right. So if you disturb them too much, they can crack and yeah. split, and then you are in a world of trouble, really, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, there you go. See, look, just nice, gentle movement. Like that. That's it. Just get it enough so that... There, there you go. That's it now. Now I'm going to do that with my hand now. So you will get a bit of fuel loss. Because these filters are mounted on different places and different vehicles. So yeah. some you can get a receptacle underneath them crack that bottom yeah that yeah bottom, that, and let the fuel out right so is that what we're going to do we're going to capture the fuel but maybe gonna, so it doesn't go over yeah, the, we're going to try floor. we're going to try but I've, we haven't got a lot of room in there to get anything in there so what we'll do what about well i'll try and find something here to right put the fuel okay into. all right okay hopefully it'll stay contained in the field to it just in case i drop it like that. oh look at that nothing comes I can, out yeah, i can put it into there so if i had a drop it I'd yeah put the fuel now that fuel, this filter, will be full of fuel. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then look at the shit in it. Well, that could be probably from the. No, it's not. No, that pot was cleaned up. I cleaned it myself this morning when I brushed my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> not really. No. So, right, so, <laughs> so what we'll do with this now is we've got to get the fuel out of it. Okay? Yeah. We've got to get the sensor off the bottom. So just put that fuel in there and then we'll put it into a canister and then dispose of it properly at the tip the way we do the oil mm. okay. not set fire to it and throw it at somebody <laughs> yeah well I've, I've you know I've only... it's not a lot in there then i thought there'd be a lot more fuel in that oh because 
Well, sh- mm. Taking that off shouldn't matter, should it? Mm. Like that. So it smells like a fuel station, yeah, petrol I've station. I've got to go to the tip with my old uh, dishwasher there, so I can do it only one go. A little right. bit more comes out, but not much. Hopefully. That will come out. There you go. And there's a sensor on the end of the probe on the end there to pick up the... So if you get... That goes like that. And like that. Right. And what we'll do, we'll lay that there now and then we'll get a plastic bag to put that in and dispose of that properly. And hopefully that will screw to the same thread. Alright, so if you look, I'm looking. there's a rubber seal. Oh yeah, okay. there's a rubber seal on now, there. We've got to make sure that that is isn't the right. So there's another rubber seal there, you see? Oh, so it's probably taken off of it from here, yeah. Yeah, right. So we'll take that one off. Yeah. And the reason we'll take that one off is, do you know? Because there's already one on the thing. Yeah, but do you know why you don't want it too high? It's still seal. It's actually you cracked. That, you don't want that probe out too much. Yeah? Mm. So you need to check. And be it. careful because they're plastic threads. Yes. You don't want to cross thread them. So it's just time. Just Yeah, just it gently. Let gravity do your work there. Okay. Don't over tighten it. Just no, because that could uh, force it. Just hand tight and then a nip. Oh, uh, okay. okay. A little nip. A little nip. Blue roll. Don't forget the, bl- the little... <laughs> don't forget the little nip and the blue roll. We'll take that off of there. And we'll check it with the other one. Oh yeah, we've got that white collar on it, so that probably needs removing. Yeah. But otherwise, they look the same. They do. Yeah, and then always... Like and would you put a, look just like an oil fill? Would you put a dab of uh, fuel around the uh, the the seal there? Just to stop it, yeah. Yeah. So I'll take that out. Right. Okay. No, I'm not sure. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's a. No, so that's in a recess. Yeah. Right. And that one isn't. So I'm thinking that that could be on there to hold that in place. But why was it easy to unclip then? Yeah. <laughs> We'll put it on and try it. Put it on and try it. Because it does sit up inside the housing. And of course, with that, yeah, that's like, actually higher with that like as well. That, yeah, but with that like that, that wouldn't seal anyway. Cause, no, that's see? right. Yeah, yeah. It's always best to check these things. Right, so we'll fill this full of fuel. Okay, fill it full of fuel. And it will save the... And we won't tip that fuel back in there. No, because that's, that's all got, grubby. That's got bits in it, so. Look at that. To do that. I wouldn't put that in a lawnmower. No, nor die. <laughs> Unless it's a diesel. Unless <laughs> it's a diesel motor lawnmower. Yeah, yeah. Right. When you are handling fuel, make sure you're wearing gloves, make sure you're wearing protective clothing, make sure you're doing it where, you know, hold that over there. Look at that, it's a colour of water. It is. Never, I don't think I've you ever seen think diesel. I'll, you, you don't think I'll get real diesel for, the, for this, do you? Now I don't think I've ever seen diesel, as in. All oh, right. And of course, putting it in this this uh, beaker here, it's yellow. Yeah. So how much shall we put in there? Let's just so we can see it. Hey. Yeah. How's that? How feel? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Do yeah. we want to put the end in the with diesel? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> can only explode diesel. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't burn. <laughs> So why have we done that though, Chaz? Why have we put diesel in there? So because then you prime the filter, right? So what does that mean? Right. So a diesel diesel ejection, yeah, is a seal system. Yeah. So it, it's prone to pulling air in if there's an, if there's a split pipe and stuff like that. So by putting this filter on, it'll be full of air. Right. So now you've got to get the fuel from the tank up into the into the pump, and then from the pump, and then fill this up. Yeah. And then push it so you still be cranking over and, and over and over and, and over and all that sort of thing. Now this should be self bleeding. <coughs> Many years ago, when I were aboard during the war, you'd have to um, crack the injectors or you have bleed points. Right. 
I've yeah. seen I've seen other videos where they've they've had to pump yeah, the fuel yeah. into yeah, the prime uh, it, prime, prime, prime yeah, it. lift pump, which we prime we pump. we're doing that by by just, just filling, filling this up. Fil yeah, just filling it up and priming the. Of course, yeah. if the filter was upside down on the side, you're not going to be able to do that, and you'd be sitting there cranking the engine over. Or, or pumping it in. Or pumping it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's what you don't. You avoid the cranking. You saw yeah, where it's actually. Right, yeah. you know. And do we need to put a bit of diesel, just like we would, like an oil filter? With an oil filter, you put a bit of oil around the top. Or? Some people do. So I, I, I don't. On, it's going to evaporate. Yeah, isn't I it? don't on diesels. No, I don't on diesels. No. It doesn't evaporate as quickly as no. petrol. I think that okay. I just will get a good view of it. And there'll be risk diesel residue on there anyway. Which yeah, really yeah. And it's a good job not to put the uh, the sensor cable in before you start mounting it. <laughs> That goes on last. Oh yeah. Look at that there, it's got a little bit of fuel in there, see? Yeah. Plus it's also sticky diesel, unlike petrol. But it's an oil. Yeah. It's an, a heavy oil. And once it's when it's sticky it's gonna collect all debris yeah, and diesel's an oil. There you go. Nice and clean. Put that on there. So you wouldn't want to spray that with something like WD forty or something like that? No. Push it together. Yeah. And Wait for the click. Tug. Yes. And sometimes when you disturb these things, you know, you just haven't been taken apart for years and years and years. Yeah. You um like this one apparently. Yeah, yeah, it's most surprising. But when yeah, um you disturb that you'll get you get, it and you get the, the fuel filter like come on. Right. Yes. You know, you might have broke wires on that. I mean, hopefully that one happens. I've got it yeah. before. So, how many bolts were there to hold that filter three, on? Three 10 mil rubber mount bolts. Okay. But one of them has perished, unfortunately. So, it's not the end of the world, but. If you want to keep keep things all properly and whatnot, well, it, should, should it should be replaced. I'll put a list of all the items in uh, the video description below, all purchased from uh, Coastal Motorhomes. And uh, if you want to, if you fancy a discount, check out the description below. There's a code in there which you can use in your checkout online. We get Herman serviced every year by a garage which is nearby us, and. Uh, now, does that look like less than a year old? I guess you can argue, well, how many miles have you done? And of course, that pipe, that, that hose rather, uh, that was all cracked. So that could have been causing that. And there was leaves and other detritus in there, weren't there? Yeah. <laughs> that's just in the air box. And the bolts were really tight and rusty. And right, so that hasn't been you know, removed. No, you could use the so we don't pipe. believe the fuel filter has been removed for a while, well since we've had it, probably, maybe. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna go back and have a look if it, see if it, I've actually been charged for these things. But that, yeah, so we're gonna get a new air filter and put that in and replace it. As well as doing the fuel filter. From the, might, well, we've primed the filter, but it might start up yeah. and cut out again. Okay, because um, a bit of an air block or yeah, something like that. You, 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 we've, 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 let air into the fuel system by yeah, right, taking yeah. that filter out. All right. Some of them have a valve in, in top that shuts to stop yeah. that happening, but then they get a bit a few years on them, you know. Okay. But we'll get crank him over, and then uh, if he does if he does that, then we'll just turn him over until he self bleeds and starts. Yeah. All right. And if he doesn't do that, then we're going to have to investigate why he doesn't. Yeah. Call the AA. <laughs> yeah. So get someone knows what they're doing. <laughs> so I've got a remote starter. It's called Ads. Yep. We'll just check the leaks. No. All 
all good. So there's no leaks on that. And I think you're fine. That is due to the little nip. So that is the new air filter. Uh, I would show you the other one, but you're going to have to remember from previously because we've thrown it away now. Was it two clips or three? Three. There. That's it. Perfect. Beauty. So that's all we need to do. So there's the air filter sorted out, nice and clean. Got the uh, fuel filter at the back there sorted. We just got to replace it, uh, put this hose back on, and then that's that's it then really. So there's not much we're going to be doing. So hopefully you found that useful when you want to maintain your own motorhome. Um, if you did. Let us, uh, let us know in the comments section and uh, give us a like. And if you haven't already, maybe this video would encourage you to subscribing. So until next time, adios and thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Chaz. Goodbye, Chaz. <laughs> That's going to be his tagline from now. <laughs> right, before we end this video, I just wanted to make sure of one thing. So it's now the following day, and uh, what I wanted to do is find out what happens when we start up the motorhome uh, with regards to the exhaust. So what normally happens on a cold day, or a cold start, um, we get black smoke. So any, any, you know, only does it for a second, uh, and cleaning the, uh, the filters, I just want to find out if that has actually prevented that. So here goes. just replayed the video of the smoke coming out of the exhaust and it's not black how incredible is that so obviously changing the filters has fixed all that result thanks very much again for watching bye bye thanks for watching our video give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos bye bye now